The employment market continues to struggle, which is causing many new and established professionals to become resourceful in their career paths. Some are taking this opportunity to start careers full-time or part-time in the creative arts. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics and the National Endowment of the Arts, careers in the creative arts will increase at an above average rate over the next five years. The Ogali Art District Main Street contains local galleries and shops that host the work of local professionals that already have or are in the process of working part-time or full-time in the creative arts. Daniel Kovach is a local artist that previously worked in a traditional corporate career. He uses his knowledge of math to create unique artistic pieces. But as, as the years progressed, um, it's just the corporate monotony uh, really started to get to me because I'm more of a creative person and um, the corporate structure of America is just so antithetical to, um, to, to personal growth, personal development, uh, creativity. It's actually extraordinarily stifling. I started pursuing more of my own endeavors in terms of my, my peer research with the AI stuff and um, you know I have a product coming out uh, which basically watches the stock market for um, potential buys and sells again using uh, artificial intelligence. I have, I'm getting into web development, um, I'm again using some of this art and um, just in, in general my creative side but a lot of this specific artwork to integrate that into my website so that you know, people have something cool and aesthetically pleasing. I've also done a lot of research on, you know, the, the, all the years of researching, uh, of cognitive research and, and research about neurology and psychiatry really pay off because I know the types of things that are soothing, I know the types of things that stimulate uh, people to, to be productive and, and stimulate, uh, the, uh, you know, stimulate you intellectually. And so I've been really trying to integrate those concepts into my websites and my artwork and um, just all my endeavors. Um, Immediately, it doesn't look like much, but what I typically do is uh, hone in on a specific area and let the computer generate more and more points so that you have something that uh, is incredibly detailed. Now, as you, as you increase the amount of points that you graph, the, the time to render it obviously increases, so some of my works have taken up to a day to render. Matthew Noble is a recent graduate that has just begun his career as a mechanical engineer. Although he likes his career, he also loves working as a graffiti artist. Graffiti especially, there's different, uh, there's different things. You have to start, start from basic tagging and then bombing, doing throw-ups, and they're for simple letters. And then there's, uh, then there's piecing. And I really just like, I really like piecing. I mean, it's all fun. It's all fun to practice with all those different parts, but piecing is just really technical. And you can spend time doing like detail. If you want to do detail, if you're doing, it can be a real loose style, but still, still technical. So just having to put in the work to come up with different colors every time, bend your letters differently. I think that was really the thing about graffiti. I like is that you're kind of doing the same thing over and over again with your name, but you, you know, trying to put different spins on it. So I think I always really wanted to be an engineer, and I was just kind of painting. But I never thought about. It. I never had the desire to get like an art major. You go to school and for being an accountant, but you hate it. You can, I mean, you can always go do something else. Heather Everett left the corporate world in 1997. She's been working as an artist full time since then. She currently is an in house artist at the Off Center Art Center located in the Ogali Art District Main Street. When my daughter was born, I quit my job, quit the corporate world because I just I planned on going back to my. I had a great job. I planned on going back, being super mom, you know doing it all and I just one day I knew my life had changed the first day back but I just couldn't do that anymore so I had to quit quit and pretty much a month or two later started to leave I was in the right place so I was in Miami and you know there's a lot going on down there I don't plan it because I'm more of an intuitive painter I know what colors I want to work with but I don't know what it's going to look like you know I mean that's that's half the fun. That's the fun for me, you know, is that who knows what it's going to turn out. I always enjoy doing it, and a lot of it is that 